welcome by the Arcade Saga. Welcome by this episode, uh, another episode of Bloom Buds and Such, which is basically an update on things that are going on here in the greenhouse. And you probably can see it, but it's now uh, in the evening. It's already dark outside. But luckily we have some uh, lights here, so we can do the updates still. Well, first of all, don't uh, be in shock, but this is what happening when it rains outside very, 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 very much. <laughs> this is normal. It happens. It's just the uh, water level outside is so high that the water, uh, the ground level will um, rise a bit. And then I have uh, these wet spots here in my greenhouse, which normally if it's uh, dry outside for about a day, everything will be gone again. So it's not the end of the world. The only thing that I need to to look out for is wires, of course. So I had a wire on the ground, it's now uh, there. And over on that side, you can see there's the wire. I just put it on the uh, yeah, foot. I don't know how do you call it in English, but uh, uh, there just to uh, be sure, because also on this side, you can see it's a bit wet. And dead leaves, I will uh, take care of them. That's another story, but uh, yeah, it just happens. And it's not nothing bad, but it looks like, uh, something uh, bad was ha is happening, but it's not. It's just uh, the time of year, and uh, so that's the first update. So I need to uh, look out where I do uh, walk because this is very very wet, as you can see. So uh, that's the first one. Another one, another update is here. I just uh, I have a few more new blooms that I will show in my next blooming update. But this one is, I just need to show it. It's so beautiful. Whoops. It's a first time bloomer. It's just about opening up. Let me zoom in. And as I can see, the color are pretty, pretty close. It's a very nice reddish purple, I think. I would put it like that. Or, or, yeah, it's also a bit of pink in there. A little bit of uh, everything from those three colors. But the lip is, is the pinkish, uh, purplish, I should say. But it's a bit of an, uh, yeah, pink, like I said, purple color, a little bit red in there. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I don't think my camera will zoom in properly, but that's it. And let me see where the tag is. It's here's the tag. Uh, whoops. This is the name. Brazo Catante Jarek Firestar. So that should be this one. <laughs> I will check it because last time I did give you a name that was about this one. We made a whole video out of it because I did go with the wrong name. But this, yeah, you can really see the pink and orange there. So that's the magic trick. But yeah, this one is also very beautiful. I'm not sure if it's fragrant yet, but I will leave it for uh, probably a few days. And then uh, when it's fully opened, I will uh, see if it has a fragrant. I imagine this one has a beautiful fragrance, but yeah, you know how it <laughs> how it goes with orchids. They can look beautiful, but they don't necessarily have a fragrance to it. But anyhow, that's a beautiful um, new bloom, a new update. These two flower spikes, yes, <laughs> are from my uh, golden elf. And yeah, the lights make it. But you can see we have quite some buds on the way. So I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, this uh, blooming session of the Golden Elf, Ivanagara. I keep calling it Ivanagara. And also, these are the newest canes, this one and this one. So these start to thicken up, which is a good sign, of course. So some updates there. Well, now I have probably the biggest, uh, literally the biggest update. Don't be in shock again, but ta-da! <laughs> So yeah, obviously it's not an orchid, and maybe you recognize it straight away, but this is the Bird of Paradise. It was uh, one of my house plants, but let me see. I need to see where I'm going to stand, of course, because of the, <laughs> the water. But anyhow, um, yeah, you can, uh, can see it's uh, fairly big, I can say. I have this for one and a half, probably two years now, but it did, gr did grow so, so well. Uh, I did get this as a gift from a friend, and she has one. Uh, she kept one for herself, and she gave it actually two in one pot to me as a gift. But hers isn't uh, as big as this one, so these really did take off. 
I give them a lot of uh, sunshine uh, and uh, yeah, apparently they loved it. But because it's so big, I needed to find another spot for it in, in the house because yeah, we barely could, uh, could see one another when we uh, drank, our, uh, did drank our coffee, me and my husband, because it's so, so big. So therefore I did uh, change the location, but it's too dark for it. And you can see it on this leaf, for example, it's not happy at all. So then I thought, well, I, I tried to give it away. Nobody wants it because it's so, it's so big. And then I felt sad because this one was so growing so well for me, for us. So I thought, yeah, this one needs a chance. Let's put it in front of my uh, Phenoliopsis wall and put my Cymbidiums around it and make a sort of jungle feel here. I have a Dendrobium hanging here, which is helping a lot. And of course the Fells with the beautiful aerial roots. And now we have a bird of paradise here in the center. So that's the story behind this plant. It wasn't planned to have this plant here, but yeah, I couldn't take it anymore. It's so sad, these leaves. So yeah, I think it will uh, be way happier here. As you can see, this one is yellowing up as well. But the leaves, you guys, it's absolutely crazy. So, and we have a leaf, very big leaf here. So that's a first change, and one is going all the way over there. And we did manage to get it here. We did um, move it in between the spikes and the roots and the leaves and etc. Uh, and we didn't break any spike. The only thing that I did break was one of those roots there, aerial roots. Only one. So I think we did a pretty good job. And this one has these beautiful, nice little elves there in a the pot. I love my elves. Where are you? What are you doing? Well, this one is hiding. There's another little elf there. <laughs> um, but um, as you can see, pumice, pumice and some leca. So this is also in cell watering. In, yeah, no, it's not visible, but there is the water. And apparently this one likes it as well because it grew huge, like I said. So yeah, it's for the winter it will be here. Maybe I will put it outside, but I, I start to like it here. Uh, it wasn't exactly how I imagined it when I start my f uh, wall of fails, but now I like those spikes in between those leaves. And here we have a spike. This is a little bit leaning on here, so maybe I should lift it a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, actually I did lose this bud. I was lying. A root and one bud. It was my fault. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and look like this, the leaves and those beautiful blooms around it. So I think it's a nice uh, addition here. But yeah, that's why um, this big one is here. Actually, like I should, said, there are two in uh, this pot. So that's uh, an update. Then we had something happening here. So you can see, probably you notice it's a little bit, it feels a bit empty in that corner. Well, I will put up a picture as it was before I changed it, uh, did change it actually today. So yeah, this be a very, very large uh, Neptunus owl, let me check, it's the Alata. I will give you the name in a second, the uh, tag, but it was hanging over there and it had a very long cane, I call it a cane, I'm not sure if they, uh, if you call it canes with the uh, Neptunus, but anyhow, it, it was uh, becoming a very large uh, plant and then I thought well, maybe I should put it in a bigger pot for a start and it's over there as you can see probably Let me try it this way. It's a bit dark today. No <laughs> You can see now the pot I just repotted today and I give it three of these stakes bamboo uh, stakes that I did put together on the very tip here so now the plant can grow around it. I just helped it a little bit. This is that long cane that was constantly in the, in the way of uh, when I was watering my orchids. And it's now, it's ending under this leaf. But I think that's a good thing. It will look for the light again. So I hope it will make a turn here and go back uh, this way. As hopefully these two new shoots do. We have a new shoot there. This is a new shoot and this one. And then I, uh, from time to time, 
I can just turn the pot around a little bit. So then I will obviously turn the growing tip as well. So if it's leaning over this way, I will turn it that way and then probably try to get it around and around and around. So that's nice, I think. So hopefully one day it will be filled with beautiful uh, pictures. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, who never knows what will happen. I hope, I think it, it did go fairly well, the repot. So I think it will take off. So that's another change. So we have quite some big plants over here. It's, so I think it uh, does uh, look nice. Oh yeah, of course, I almost forget. This is also a new plant. Uh, I like Hoyas, but uh, normally I don't buy them because I like not like them that much. But this is a Hoya which is actually growing a little bit different than Hoyas, of course. That's the one that I need, uh, wanted, not, not really needed, but this is the shooting star. Hoya multiflora, shooting star. So if you look it up and you look, have a look at the blooms, you then will know exactly why I did want to buy this one. <laughs> There's this beautiful shooting star shaped blooms and those are uh, yellow and white and I, I like my yellow and white and I thought yeah well let's put a Hoya here let's see how it uh, will do I potted it in self-watering as well it had a few roots just a cutting so I thought before it settles completely in the other pot let's put it in here and see let's just give it a go I'm not sure if it likes it here but it wasn't that expensive so but of course I want to keep it, so I will try my best. And uh, yeah, I, I would like it to uh, grow self-watering because that suits me the best. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just do it. I didn't know if this uh, bird of paradise would like it in my climate in self-watering, but uh, I just did it and it grew uh, quite big. <laughs> so therefore I think uh, sometimes just I just try it. And yeah, we can lose the plants, but also we can get a very happy plants. So. Sometimes you just need to try things out to learn, I think. Um, so that's for here now, for here, the uh, updates in the greenhouse. And like I said, I will have, yeah, this one is so beautiful. I'm sorry, you guys, I just need to show it again. Look at the size of those blooms. It's so beautiful. It's the new city. Let me show you the tag like this. Chia Lin New City. Absolutely beautiful. This lip may seem familiar because it's my profile picture on my YouTube channel. That is this one. Because of those colors, I thought that's beautiful. <laughs> so uh, that is it. Let's get over to the orchid room because I just did buy a supermarket plant. I didn't need it, of course, but it looks very nice, very green. You already saw it. It's a Dendrobium phenoliopsis. And I bought this one because it only has one bloom left. But it's, uh, it's a more beautiful white one, and it's actually fairly big. This bloom just did fall off, but you can see if it's... It was uh, here, I think, something like that. <laughs> but anyhow, it's... Yeah, I think this is completely white or a little hint of green there, but that's it. And fairly, fairly large bloom. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to uh, give this a try for only six euros. So it's not bad. It has a new growth here. I think it's two in one pot, but anyhow, it will uh, should do fine. And this one is looking fairly nice. It's, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful leaves. So uh, yeah, I did take this one home. <laughs> So yeah, before we go further to the rest of the plants in the orchid room, I just wanted to show you. I did take, take some pictures of this because the blooms are very sad. It was to be expected. It does take off. It's a very purple one. Did you recognize it? Well, this is, according to the seller, the Andrea West. Well, it's not even close. It should be a yellow one. Well, this is nothing but yellow. <laughs> oh, it's everything but yellow, I should say. And it's browning. It's and that was be to be expected because this one hadn't any roots. 
and now it has. I did contact the seller and he said that he can replace it for an actual Andrea West. Well, that would be great. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with this at all. I'm not happy with it at all. But if he have a, has a good replacement, I will replace it. And that's it, because the other one died already as well. If you remember the Lillian something, Nako, Naka, something. Barely any roots. This will have maybe one root, two roots. So I'm not happy at all with this. Not happy at all. And he was like, well, that's not my tag. Are you sure this is my plant? And I was like, yeah, whatever. So I was a little bit mad, to be honest. Well, actually disappointed. He's very, so far, very friendly and he's... He wants to replace it, so uh, I'm giving him a chance. But I'm because he said I always let my plants flower out, so I'm sure that these are the real ones. And um, you know, I don't take that. I'm not complaining. I'm not a complaining person. I was very friendly, so why would I try to uh, be so rude and say that this is different plant? And on the other hand, if he took his pictures again, he could sh see that this was the exact same plant. It's very obvious it is. So anyhow, it will be uh, be too continued. But yeah, this is nothing like the Andrea West, for sure. So let's get over to the last part of this update. <laughs> so and just a look at these blooms. <laughs> oh, this this cane, you guys, it's crazy look at how long it is i had to stake it normally i don't stake it but this one will be so top heavy it's just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous. this will be uh, fairly soon on, uh, on my channel again because it has the beautiful uh, beautiful blooms and this is the catante also a fairly nice spike but this one is really really winning the uh, the biggest spike well actually yeah, it's the strongest spike, but this one here, talking about spikes, look at that. I think this one is even longer and goes all the way up here. As you can see, I hope you can see it. How long? This one is ridiculous. Ridiculously long. So I had to stake it in a very strange way. <laughs> but yeah, the things we do for our plants, isn't it? And then my battery died, but I am back. <laughs> Well, this is, uh, was uh, basically the updates for now. Um, just some things to share. And of course, we will have an update soon on these guys here. And yes, this is number three. We did make three uh, self-watering spikes. Two did I uh, mount a plant on, on camera. And later on, I found this one. I just totally forget about it. did forget about it. But this one uh, isn't doing as well as it should. But that will be for uh, the update. And thank you all guys for the uh, comments on there. I will take them into the video. We will discuss them in the video because it's just too nice not to. Uh, I really enjoy the comments and people thinking uh, with me how to make it even better, uh, how to make it work, etc. So we will uh, have that all in the update. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is it for now. This is the update. Thank you for uh, watching this uh, video. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, for now, I just hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.